posting this video a few days late. Um, I have my dog sitting right there. So if you hear heavy breathing or see a nose or something pop up in the video, that's why. Um, I want to make this video to share about um, my DNC that I had last week. Um, so I ended up having to have a DNC to um, remove the rest of the blood vessels and tissue um, from the miscarriage. So um, I had a missed miscarriage a few weeks back, kind of several weeks back at this point. Um, I took after about a week of just like watching and waiting, I decided to go ahead and take a side attack. Um, I had bleeding from that for about two weeks. And then after a, a week after that, I had an appointment and um, based on my ultrasound and my beta level was still over 3000, um, my OBJYN and my fertility doctor both recommended to um, do the suction DNC. So uh, today is Tuesday, so it's been one week since the DNC, and next week I have a follow up with my OBGYN. Um, so that is where we're at. Um, DNC is pretty simple procedure, I mean, for the doctor, <laughs> and like you know, procedurally for me, it was pretty simple. Just go in, um, pretty standard. Don't eat before for the anesthesia, uh, got anesthesia, woke up, went home pretty much normal day. Um, feelings like physical feelings wise afterwards. Um, it was actually kind of weird how you know standard and procedural the whole thing felt like it was just like okay here to check in um did, did you eat did you drink water like blah 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 like figuring out the anesthesia and then um doing the whole thing like but i will remember that there was one nurse or medical assistant, like I'm not sure her exact position, but um, afterwards, like she held my hand and like told me like, it's gonna be okay. Like, um, and I mean, she might've been referring to the anesthesia, but I have to think it was like, because I was there for a DNC, like not something else. Um, so yeah, I don't, I just like, kind of wasn't feeling any certain way that day. It was just kind of like, this is something that needs to get done and have to get through, basically. Um, so I remember the nurse and then also from the anesthesia room. This is a funny story. This is some levity for my video about a DNC is, the, so the post anesthesia room has several beds in it depending like there's spaces for probably 10 or 12 beds and there was three or four other people in there while I was there and like far enough away that it wasn't like I was right next to him but I was like in earshot from this man who had just woken up from surgery and he was talking to a nurse who was also a male and the nurse was saying okay you have three incisions there's going to be some gauze there just so you know as you're waking up like I'm sure like they they just have to repeat a lot of stuff I'm sure as anesthesia um, post anesthesia nurses because uh, I'm sure he knew that there was going to be incisions beforehand um, but anyways um, so the guy goes okay yeah is my penis still there though and the nurse goes um, yes it's still there like nobody touched that like all all clear from the surgery and the guy's like okay good good so 
that was something funny I can remember from the whole day and something sweet and nice I can remember is that nice uh, post anesthesia nurse. Not that the other nurses there weren't nice. Everyone I talked to was plenty nice and professional and everything, but it was nice that she was like sentimental with me. Um, so yeah, now I just wait for my appointment with my OBGYN. My OBGYN was kind of predicting it would be a few weeks before we'd even be able to talk about a transfer. The fertility doctor didn't want to commit to a timeline. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited to try again, but honestly, okay with a few week wait. Um, just is what it is. It's part of the process and <sighs> just, um, feeling my feelings, trying to process, um, but some things just suck to go through and there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just, well, part of life, I guess. So, um, just wanted to share my experience. Um, totally open if you want to comment or message me on Instagram or, um, Something like that. Instagram is probably the best way to reach me because unfortunately I'm on there a lot. <laughs> I do try to eat the delete lab over the weekend, but um, yeah, totally open if you want to talk um, or have any comments or feedback or whatever. Thanks so much for watching. I will try to get another video up next week. Thank you.